What's up, guys? We're here with Logan. Uh, he almost won this regional. Started off 8-0. Uh, I was the only undefeated going to the last round. The other guy had a draw. I opened my hand. I lost a die roll, opened triple uh, cross out, no hit, no hand trap. He opened one fire. He will now win game two. I got one hand trap pass. But I went next one. We don't know what place I got yet because we're, I, I'm like super tired. I got like an hour of sleep and I just really want to like get this deck profile. Out. So we'll just like update it in the comments or whatever. It's probably top four, but I don't know what place. Oh, it has to be top four. Yeah, it's probably like third or something. Second. It depends if the other XO one guy wins or not. If, yeah. if he loses, I get second. So. Well, let's see what you're playing. Yep. Uh, uh, so for this event, I decided to play Fire King because I was playing Pure, and if you follow me on Twitter at Big Papa Yami, <laughs> yes sir, um, you'll see that like my current report from the YCS, and it wasn't because I actually think that the Pure deck is like worse or anything. It's just like I played like a regional and I played against a lot of rogues, so that was the idea. I actually played against like five Fire decks or four Fire decks, but it, the Fire King cards definitely helped me with the rogue decks. So let's go get to it. Uh, play three Bonfire. This is self-explanatory. Uh, three Snake Eyes Ash. Yep. Uh, probably hit this card. <laughs> Two Popple. Um, that's, uh, oh, and Flame Burge. You only need one in the uh, Pure Fire King. Uh, one for one because it's the best extender. I, I actually think this card's better in this deck than it is Fire King because, like, you just have way more options, like, with this card. Like, in the pure deck, it actually just only gets to Jet, and Jet's like super card hungry, and this card's already card hungry. But in this deck, it gets to Ponix, which is just like a million bodies. So, it's really good. And then three wanted, three Dale Bellstar. I wanted to max out both. I wanted as consistent deck as possible, and the only, actually, really the only games I lost were just to like breaking. So, um, yeah. uh, original, and I decided to main deck the field spell. Um, I know I saw some people citing this, and the reason. I decided to main it is because there's a combo that plays around Nib if you open uh, Dia Bell Star plus um, Ash or like just any way to play. And if you have this in your deck, you get to set up like Apollo for four and then full combo under the Apollo for four. So it's just like insane. Um, then the Fire King engine, two Karen. Uh, I'm actually a really big fan of one of this. And going second, a lot of the time I would side down to one. But at a regional, I wanted. To, I figured I would get into grind games, and I actually came up one one time. I needed the second, so. Uh, Garunix, uh, shout out my boy Ponix. He's always loyal, and then Armada. Armada's the best one. Obviously, it's the reason to play the engine, in my opinion. Uh, and then the, the two spells. I didn't play a third spell. Um, I know some people play circle and stuff. I just wanted to break as little as possible, and that's like my only loss was to breaking. So. Uh, the rest of the deck is just non-engine, pretty much. Uh, so three, Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. You have to play it. Three, Nibiru. You have to play it. Uh, three, Valor. Again, you have to play it. Uh, three, Imperm. Um, and then I decided to play one Droll because I'm playing Cross Out, spoiler, and uh, I thought it was, like, I had another room, like, extra room for one more card, and I just felt like that, like, the Droll was better than than Mourner, because I think Mourner's pretty low impact against this deck most of the time. And I was right. I mean, I, I, I literally crossed out Droll twice game one, so it's correct. And then three cross out. That card's insane right now. Literally solemn judgment. Yeah, like It's nuts. Like, if you don't hit a hand trap, like, it's your solemn judgment. They can't break your board ever. Like, it's insane. Uh, the main deck's 42. I took a lot of inspiration from, like, uh, Hani and Chris's deck. Um... But, and like take me on like snake charm me into playing something in my side deck which I just shouldn't have it was horrible but uh, we're going into the rest of the deck I'll explain it when we get there um Link Rebo that's the boy ban him don't ban him please most play this is the most playable like Kribo of all time so, uh IP SP you have to play both of these obviously um Dark Kita this is so explanatory uh Sunlight Wolf and Heat Soul. Um, I was going for this on my M board most of the time. Uh, if I wasn't doing it, it was either this or Apollo. Sometimes both. I did that a few times. And it, it, was, it was fine. It was a good card. I liked it. I played again. Uh, Phoenix, you need it for the, uh, not only to pop summon limp, but you also need it for the Zenitis OTK. Uh, if they have no monsters. 
Um, this is different, I think. I'm gonna hold this in the back. I don't remember if other people played this or not. But uh, two of the princess, you have to play two in this version of the deck because you threaten. Uh, to, one of the combos to play around Nib, you, you summon this and then threaten to bring back Arvada. They Nib you and then you Flame Berg, summon back like four bodies and then just full combo. Um, then you have Zelantis and Raging Phoenix. These cards are like. I actually didn't do this very much today. I actually did this way more. Uh, Access Code Selene. Um, so I decided to play both. And I did both of these multiple times. And I actually seen, I, had, I don't know where people were like spreading this fake news at. Like I say it's fake news, but I, I might just be un, 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 uneducated since I was playing Cure. Um, but they were saying you need double Flame Bird to do this combo, but you actually just don't. Um, you place Oak in the Speller Trap, and then you summon out Flameberg, and you do that. If they nib you, you summon out Oak and do the Zelantis OTK. And the, re the way you get the second 3,000 attack guy, the two bodies you bring back on Flameberg, are, we have to use Charmers, of course, but um, they get boosted by the Phil Spell, so it's over 3,000, so it's a game. So you just drag game twice, kill him through Nib. Last card Apollo. Apollo. Not that special. Yeah. I can see this card getting banned, to be honest. I know so that sounds good. crazy, but I don't think a generic Link should be able to like negate, if that makes any sense. But what do I know? It's one of the uh, most playable Links in the game. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, my side deck was mid, because I had like a game plan going, and then like I went to the tournament, just thought it was awful. So it is what it is. Uh, three bell. I, I saw it in against pure. I drew it once, and it was good. But like, I don't think it was like that necessary. So I'm on the like the bell isn't that good train. Yeah, like I would rather have had more of these, which I have been playing more of these. But I felt like since I was playing bell, deciding going first. I also like how this card can randomly hit soul release. So you decided to go first, hit soul release. Okay. Um, so you have to play around it. Uh, that's that happens way less. But like these were like really good. I drew I drew this one. It was really good, but yeah, it, it, this should have probably just been cut and played a third one of this like I did at the uh, YCS, so. This was really good. Only two of them. Um, then this is super weird because it was like side deck patterns, so I played like two Droll, two Mourner. I made deck in ones, so I wanted all three in my deck. Uh, Mourner, I just wanted to be able to like, against the pure deck, it's really good to hit uh, Witch. Like you draw this another hand trap, you stop them most of the time. And this is this is the snake charm. Uh, so Savion told me I needed to side out all the Fire King cards and side into pure. And I was like, okay, I like that, I think. So I put a second flame burn in my side deck. I think Chris and them did this. And this was just not needed. I sided it in once. Or no, I sided it in more than once. But I sided it in once and actually did something. But I don't think I would have lost the game if it wasn't in my deck. And like I said, you can do a different combo and literally still OTK with the access code, all that. So this is just like not needed. Um, and I also learned that the other tournament, like uh, the, the first fire deck I played, and I actually got to accomplish siding out the fire king cards going second. I actually lost the game because fire king cards weren't my deck, ironically. Like if I, if I just had fire king cards on one. So I decided to start trimming the fire king cards. So I'll like cut down a Kieran, I'll cut down Sanctuary, stuff like that. And I just didn't lose after that. So I think that strategy was actually just better. Um, two triple tactics talents. Uh, I did something really dumb. <laughs> I guess I could talk about it. I don't remember what round it was, but like I'm on like two hours of sleep and my opponent like imperms my guy. I chain Kieran and um, this is like game one. And like he imperms my guy, I chain Kieran. He changed a second imperm and like I chain cross out and the guy beside of me said talents and I just said talents. I don't know why. Oh no. <laughs> but luckily I was like, I realized that I cut it from my main deck. So it, I, I, we got to rewind because it's illegal activation. You can't manage from your deck. So. Uh, but I did decide to side it. Uh, I just thought it was funny. <laughs> I messed up really bad. Um, this card was not good, <laughs> to be honest. It was for like voiceless and stuff. I didn't really side it in going first because my siding in going first game plan uh, was summon limit. And like I didn't have enough cars to take out, I realized. Because um, I was bringing this in when I was going into pure, but then I realized going into pure just wasn't good. Um, and this card actually was just terrible. Because this card, this card is actually really, really bad against um, Voiceless, and it's actually really, really bad against Fire King if your opponent knows what they're doing. So, I think going forward, 
what me and Levi were talking about playing. Well, he, I think he played Striker the way he has. I think he might be right. I think Strike's just actually better than this card. Um, but like, there is obviously some games that you just uh, flip it and you win. But like, there's also some games you flip Strike and you just win. So it's like no difference. And they're putting up standings now, so we're about to know in a minute. Uh, I'm super tired. Uh, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, of course. Uh, shout outs to all the good gaming people. This to me. Shout out to Side Deck. Shout out to Charlie Collectibles. I hope I'm said your. Yeah, it, this place pretty cool. Yeah, uh, it's like a trade show. I don't know what you would call it. But shout out to CM and Dueling Guard CM too. Games. CarbonGames.com. Dueling Guard. Five percent off. Um, yeah. Congratulations, man. We'll see you at the bye next bye. one.